In this video, we're going to take a look at creating announcements using the class communication tool. To begin the process of creating a communication, you'll need to locate the communication section. Now by default it's open, so you shouldn't need to open it, but you can actually close it. So if you ever find that it's in the closed case, just click on that down arrow and you can open it up again. So now that you have that icon ready, you'll first place your mouse over top the eye. This will make it so that you get the four-headed arrow, and the four-headed arrow is what you'll use to drag it into the new location. So because we have this class communication section, we're going to put it in this um, area right here. So I'm going to put my mouse over top of it, and then I'm going to left-click, hold, and drag it in. Once it's dragged in and created, it now gets saved in the course, so I don't have to worry about losing it at this point. But you'll know, notice that it says unpublished. So that means, and even though I've added it, students can't see that I've added it yet. I recommend that the first thing you do is give it a name. Let's just call this week one announcement. Once that's done, I can simply press enter on my keyboard and that name will be saved. And again, it's still unpublished. So now let's put our mouse again over the eye, click once, and that will open the object. So I'm going to scroll down here. And at this point, I can begin to add additional information and configure the object. So at this point, because we want to keep it simple this first time around, all we're going to do is add content. So we're going to click on this, click to add content section, and we'll add some simple content. And we're adding it to the student content section because that is what students can see. You'll notice if you scroll down that there is an instructor content section, but don't put anything there because only you will be able to see it. Once the content is added, click Done Editing. You can see a preview of that content. And now you can make some other choices. So again, because we're going to do this simple the first time, I'm going to just save it as a draft. And that's in case I want to come back to it later. And then I'm going to click Publish to Class. The simplest thing to do to get it to, to students so they, can, so they can actually see it is to just click Publish. All that does is make it visible. So let's go back to the course page and you'll see that there is now an object with the title that we gave it and there's no other information in it, but if you click on it, you'll be able to see it. Now I'm able to switch to the student view, so let's switch to the student view. Go back to the course, and we can also see it, and it looks almost exactly the same. So that is the quickest way to create a class communication. And again, that doesn't have any special things or any bells and whistles. It's just a basic communication to students.